we've actually figured out a way to quantify record quality. Back in the day, there was, it was impossible to do that. Now we can take signal to noise ratio of the electrical signal off the records. We can count pops and clicks and sound artifacts. Just because something's older doesn't necessarily make it inferior. The only difference you're gonna find from our records to a record from the 1970s is our records are a little bit flatter and, uh, and sound a little bit better. We took the traditional process of uh, making records and we've modernized it. The biggest thing that we, we thought was exciting was the, were the automation uh, parts of the machine that allowed one technician to run up to four warm, warm tone presses. Every single possible variable is controllable and programmable from our interface. It allows uh, the operator to monitor uh, every single portion of the process. We're offering what is being proved as an average of um, one, uh, one vinyl press per 30 seconds with an opportunity uh, with the right environment to get down to about 22 seconds. We get a higher yield off the press uh, for a few reasons. We've improved the uh, consistency of the melt by re-engineering the screw and the extruder. We've improved the way the, the puck or the pre-mold is, is transported into the hydraulic ram. That's more of a solid foundation. That was a traditional pain point of some of the older presses. To transfer it to the, uh, to the cutting station, we use a vacuum system to pick the mold up from the label instead of using a traditional means of picking up the record by the flashing. Right now, uh, we have two machines and they're gonna be able to produce what about six to eight of the old machines were able to produce. In the old machines, there's typically a 30 to 40 percent yield loss. The warm tone record press is under one percent, uh, meaning if you're making a thousand records, instead of recycling 300 to 400 of those records, you can actually deliver those to the customer, which just makes the, the timing much, much faster, uh, makes it less expensive for both the artist and, of course, for us as manufacturers. I think this is just uh, such an important event that's happening that should really uh, expand and excite the artist community. This is an opportunity to really get the sound that they're asking for. As the uptick in vinyl sales have started, uh, what we've seen is there's been some really healthy um, margins for the independent artist. So we just saw it as a great opportunity to really tie the local scene and the independent music scene uh, to this really big need, which is, which is vinyl records, which we've seen uh, from our end as, as one of the only ways that, uh, that an independent musician uh, can really make money in, in the digital space. Now they can actually sell their music again rather than just renting it.